Another day, another video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're watching Westworld. This episode 9 of the first season. Hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. And if you'd like to watch today's full episode, this is available for free in the link in the description below. Just click on it, put the password in, and enjoy. Now, considering this 10 episodes in a season, and obviously the finale is usually the best, it excites me when we do get to the second to last because I feel like it's going to be a good episode and we do lead up into those exciting finale ones. Now, last episode, again, is interesting. I feel like Dolores was kind of, I don't know, set out at the start of the season anyway, to maybe kind of look like the main character. I'm not I'm, I'm not too sure with that. I feel like Maeve's the main character right now. Do you know what I mean? Like, her story's really interesting. She's one that's spending the most time here in the real world. And, like, last episode, again, you know, she kind of manipulated slash blackmailed the guys to helping her. And, um, you know, they've, they've been resetting her, haven't they? And they've been changing her emotions and all different functions. And then she went up into creative. And in there, you know, she had to get a full-on rebooted because he was saying, look, she wants to stay here. Do you know what I mean? She wants to leave. But by doing that, you know, apparently they have like a little, I don't know, explosive device inside of the spleen. So like if they do go too far, they can implement it, boom, and kill them. Well, basically they were shutting down, they were resetting the system, they was taking that out. And obviously she's gone down and as she's awoken, bang, mate, she's hit that guy, you know, the one with the beard. Who, who keeps being consistently negative around her with the scalp right on his neck and it looks like he's killed him do you know what i mean that was crazy as well that was really unexpected um and you know she's gone back in the park and she's able to take control of other hosts so like she was dictating situations you know the barman come over and was like may's got a tab that she's running you know she can't really afford anything she was like actually you know Maeve is a great customer she's done all this and that and that and i think that she deserves a drink and the guy was like yeah pouring it i know she was telling clementine which was a different one to the one we've recently seen in in the show uh to do a couple of things and she was going to do it do you know what i mean like when that guy come in you know uh State your business if you come into our town with weapons and he gets shot every time. You know, the guy with the, the mark on his face. She just let him rob the rob the store with the safe. She just went in, met him outside, told the sheriff that these were good people. Do you know what I mean? He let them carry on. And, uh, you know, it's very, very interesting. And then again, at the end of the episode, we had the man in black sat down with Teddy and he was talking and he was telling about his life. You know, he was saying about, uh, you know, uh, he lost his wife for 30 years. She, he thought that she killed herself by taking the wrong tablets basically and it was a tragedy but when he was at the funeral you know his daughter come over to him and said that it was his fault and she actually old deed on purpose because of him because his wife seen the dark side of him and do you know what i mean she's lived with him for so long and she didn't really like it and he decided that you know what he wants to see if he is dark himself and that's why he ended up telling teddy about the story coming into the park you know going after Maeve, pretty much killing her and he killed his daughter as well i mean her daughter it was crazy wasn't it you know it was the first time we seen it last episode stood there crying gun to her bang killed her it's crazy and then obviously he was saying it's the first time ever that he'd seen one of the holes kind of be lifelike and um you know he she had ran over she picked her daughter up she went outside she was crying and they both fell on the floor and that's what he was saying it's the first time the may shown himself and it was just like around them so that was interesting but in that scenario when he was talking about obviously you know killing trying to kill Maeve and obviously shoot the daughter Maeve went to stab him and then it flicked to the present and Maeve actually killed Clementine in the, in the middle of the street which is interesting and then everybody seen it happening and then she ran she whispered to one of the guys and then they started causing a shootout on diversion so that obviously she couldn't get arrested but this flagged up obviously some crazy stuff that's going on obviously in the real world they was looking down they was like mate we need to go in we need to extract this crazy things are happening so that's interesting with what's happening with her as well not too sure the guy's name but another one that goes into the park to extract obviously stray hosts he ended up speaking to Bernard and saying, look, mate, I know that, you know, it wasn't common knowledge that you and, to, um, you know, Teresa was kind of like together. And I know it must be hard for you, but it's my job to know these things and just let you know, you know, I am sorry. And he was like, yeah, do you know, like, I didn't really know what you mistaken. You know, we was just work people. I didn't really know much about her personality. And then he asked her about uh, Elsie as well. And he was like, yeah, yeah, she's on like a vacation day or something. I'm sure she'll be OK. And then he was looking confused. So. Mate, very interesting. I literally, literally, really, really excited to see how we go and where, you know, the way we we kind of finish up into the final episode. But a cliffhanger. I'm, I'm expecting a cliffhanger anyway, definitely in today's. So that's where we're currently at. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you do, please smash the like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, let's jump in to episode 9 of the first season of Westworld. <laughs> Prepped and ready, sir. Thank you. I'll take it from here. Do you know why you're here? I'm afraid not. Analysis. What motivated your attack on Clementine? 
A cognitive error triggered my good Samaritan reflex. According to this, you were also experiencing intense grief and suffering. Can you explain those emotions? No. It's definitely so getting to her. Let's take a look under the hood. Maeve, analysis. Who made these changes to your code? Kate got the floor for me. Send him a message, highest priority. Don't. After all, we've been down this road before. I thought you were one of them. Did you Wouldn't you rather speak man to man? I don't know, do you? System, I need a system. Freeze all motor functions. Scared out of your wits. Realizing your entire life is some hideous fiction. Turn your mind inside out. Make you forget all this. But I'm not going to do that to you. We're stronger than men. So you're going to clear me for immediate return to the park. Jackie yeah, is well confused. If you go looking for the truth, get the whole thing. Oh, before we go into that, right. You know, she did say then all motor functions shut down or something. Uh, freeze. But like, I would have thought that you would have to say Bernard. And you know, as if to say the uh, the activation word for him, if that makes sense. Because he's been in a room many a times before when, when these sayings have been said. And it's never affected him. Do you know what I mean? So how did he know that the conversation and the word spoken is directly to that person? Does that make sense? I get it. It works. But I would have thought that you would have to say like... Dolores, wake up. You know what I mean? Or Bernard, all motor functions freeze. Maeve, go to sleep. Do you know what I mean? Like those type of things. But again, it's cleared. You know what? She's back in the park. And you can see with him now, it's ticking. He's confused. And she said that she remembered him. But where did she remember him from? Like, if she's remembered him from being in these scenarios in the past, do you know what I mean? Where, like, um, you know, she's been brought in and then they've analysed you know like done a system analysis and sent it back that makes sense but she remembered him specifically as one of her so like where has she seen him in that scenario before pariah was the best thing that could have happened to me i'm a major now <laughs> all right general she is not like the others and to keep her in a place like this it isn't right talk to your contacts at the park are you kidding you want to you want to take her home? I keep assuming that I want out, whatever that is. If it's such a wonderful place out there, why are you all clamoring to get me? I am going to help you, Billy. Just not in the way that you would want. Again, right, with that one. If she dies now, does she just go back kind of like Maeve? And she... Because she's not been in the real world. I shit, well... The only time we've seen her is with him and obviously with with, uh, with Ford. And I believe that that's in his little created lab that he's got inside of the park. If she died, she would go to the actual present where Maeve keeps going. And then it'd be interesting to see them both there. You wanted to talk? An odd setting for a conversation. You broke into my office. So you broke into my mind. I have every right to wander through its rooms and chambers and halls. And the most elegant parts of me weren't written by you. Arnold built us. Maybe he had something different in mind for us. If Arnold made me, then I've met him somewhere in my memory. He's there, waiting along with the truth. Your memories are woven into your identity. If I should unlock them now, when you... Yes, Clementine. When they lobotomized Clementine. They didn't bother to reset her prime directives. I hacked what's left of her. <laughs> yes, been hard. I want to see what Arthur looks like, me man. I've gone back to this, mate. Was it, what, two episodes ago? If I had a world of my own, everything would be nonsense. Nothing would be what it is, because everything would be what it isn't. At least you have a way of forgetting. You're not lying to me, are you, Bernard? When they talk to each other, it's a way of practicing. Is that what you're doing now? Have you ever made me hurt anyone like this before? Hello? <laughs> Might not be dead, though. She only got, like, took out. We stop this treasure hunt, Bernard. We do have our new narrative to finish. Send me back. Ah, oh, that's interesting. So Clementine, she's back now. The actual one, so not the one last episode that was killed, the original one that we started the season with. And she's there, obviously, coded by Bernard. So now it's good because Ford can't have control of her, which is like the first time we've seen a creation that he possibly can't, you know, tell what to do. He's smart, mate. He knows it. So that's really good. And now he's getting his memories. Well, either past builds or, or, or false 
you know, stories. You know what I mean? Every host has to have a good backstory. So, um, again, it was interesting that he's remembered his kid. He's remembered, obviously, Teresa, and he's remembered Elsie as well. Do you know what I'm saying? But with her, we haven't seen her fully die. People get put in headlocks all the time and they pass out. You see, in the UFC, that's natural combat sport where they're fighting to literally take each other out. And, you know, the headlock, you get it in, the rear naked choke, people do pass out. But don't mean you're dead. You know what I'm saying? So, like, where he's done or where he's taken her, that's what I want to know because she was all right. She actually was all right. I mean, in as much as I like to collect strays, but then you're scheming to be part of the family, marrying my sister, whom, incidentally, you seem to have completely fucking forgotten about. Huh? Oh, it was her picture yeah. that I dad found. Prove to me that you're a real live girl. I am just getting started. Oh, Tyson! <laughs> Oh. There is beauty in this world. I'm not made it that way, but people like you keep spreading over it like a stain. I speak, he's been caught a lot. Run. Has he actually been caught? What to die and go back into the present with Maeve? Third time we've seen it, nobody there, just her. Oh no, she's not even cut now. See what I mean? I keep questioning it, I keep saying it. Is any of this real? That's what I, I'm literally keep thinking. Is any of it real? Because she was running off in a panic and getting chased and these people firing and she had a gun. She just fell over, remember, she'd be able to just walk off, nobody there. No rush, no chase, nothing. She's not even hurt. What's actually happening? That, her storyline, yeah, is the one that I don't really get. But, not that I don't like it, it's just the intriguing one. Also, that William's girlfriend's picture was the one that Dolores' dad found in episode one. But I'm sure that William arrived in the park in episode two. So, how how's that happened? Do you know what I mean? Like, how was that picture that should have arrived in episode two with uh, Logan and William got in the hands of Dolores' dad in the first episode that sent him crazy. It was the first one that obviously he's seen and it was like it's different to everything else. No need to argue this close to our goal. Whatever riches the gods have in store for us, there's plenty to go around. Before you draw that pistol, darling, you might want to holster the other one first. How did you find this place? I know all kinds of things. I also know your future. You have none. Your men are about to kill each other over the safe you stole. Tenderloin draws first, and so on, until only you and Armistice are left. You have quite the imagination. It's the ending you were given. The fuck up. If you're gonna draw, you better yeah. do it. Wait! You shut the fuck up! You damn fool. I have the combination. May I? Somebody said to him earlier on in the season that in the safe is not what he's looking for. I want you to see exactly what the gods have in store for you. It's empty. I died with my eyes open. Saw the masters who pull our strings. But I've been to hell, and I know their tricks. Or you can just kill me, but the safe would still be empty. I've been here before. He did do before they got shot. Do you know what? This guy seems pretty cool. Like, I reckon he'd be a good character if they kept him in it. I would rather get stabbed than burn. The rest is where it gets hard. Yeah, how are you waking up, mate? That's that's what I want to know. Nobody's told me. See what I mean? Like that was interesting, you know. He's figured out that hell, how to get there, she knows she has to die. He's obviously gone in on her kind of like story because he's figured out he's been in that similar situation before. Knife to her. He extracted the first bullet before they got shot. But again, I want to know how she wakes up now now uh it, it might be self-explanatory that she's like overridden the cold and she's like really strong do you know what i mean and she's like got this well yeah powerful mind where she doesn't actually fall asleep but like the first time how is she not going in sleep mode before people was altering her obviously emotions that's what i would like to know so him for example he's gonna die now when he gets sent over there yeah how does he wake up and and not follow their commands if that makes sense but also if you if you have three choices to die you had to die by fire die by stabbing or die by shooting what would you pick that is definitely the worst one in my opinion burning 
I'd rather get shot, then get stabbed, and then burn. Shot right now in the head or whatever. I wouldn't even know. I could be sat here and then boom, gone. Someone could just hit me. Stabbing the same, you know, I feel like it would hurt a bit and you bleed out, but it wouldn't be as bad as literally burning in the pain of fire. What do you say, man? Bygones and all? She's still alive. The whole point is, she never was in the first place, Billy. Yeah, you were right. I can't believe I got so caught up. I'd escape in the night. I wouldn't do it straight away. This park seduces everyone. You wanted to be the hero. Get it? This has been some real bonding shit. <laughs> We're gonna be brothers, Billy. I'm glad. Really, I am. Yo, I don't think Logan's that bad, me. I, I, I actually think he's quite interesting. You really landed us in it this time, Pete. You tracked down the very horde that can lead us to the gatekeeper of the maze, and then your little memory glitch fucked us. Wyatt has yet to return. We'll find him where you saw him last. Escalante. But we've seen so him he helping. He was like the devil himself had taken control of me. And then Wyatt killed the general. Oh. And then he turned on me. Are you sure that's how it was? Don't you remember? She's got her up in there, I'm reckoning. Oh, he's a sheriff. When Wyatt returns, you'll be by his side in the city swallowed by sand. <laughs> You just give him his information that he needed, though. The city swallowed by sand, did you say? I look like the town that Dolores went in city before. City swallowed by sand. Maze is taking me full circle. <laughs> Yo, mate, they are intriguing them actually. You know, in terms of the storyline with Wyatt and Teddy, I, we don't. I, we actually don't know which is the correct one. There seems to be a few variants being thrown around now. So again, it's going to be fascinating to find out which is the true one because she's just gave him a story but in that one she died do you know what i mean and now she's saying she's killing teddy so do you know what i'm saying like how much can we believe of that now the city buried in sand that's an interesting one it's a bit of information he's been there he said he knows it but again do you know what i mean i'm trying to think as well the town that he walked in teddy was the sheriff you know, he wasn't dressed up in his, like, Navy gear or whatever it was. He was actually the sheriff and he's gone in and killed everybody anyway. And I'm kind of thinking that that was the same town that Dolores was in when she was stood there and she was looking, like, around. And I'm sure there was loads of dead bodies on the floor as well. Is that because he can't kill him? He just, like, bend him. Oh, if he runs. That's a mad little setup that they got going there. considered gall oh i don't like interruptions charlotte Teresa colin has died slipped down a crevasse attempting to secure our information ford stories are engaging some downright addictive stories most of the guests just want a warm body to shoot or to fuck they would be perfectly happy with something a little less baroque the narratives i'm interested in aren't ford you want to push him out be my guest but no more interruptions I don't really even know who he is, if I'm being honest. I'm all over the place with who he possibly is. Do you know what I mean? I flicked through him. Is he the man in black? You know, is he Ar Arnold? Do you know what I mean? Is he the board? Like, it seems like he is a big part of the board. He knows who Charlotte is. She wanted his vote. Do you know what I'm saying? He's here. He's still playing the game. She is right. 90% of the people that go to this place... They just want to sleep with as many people as they can because there's no repercussions because it's not real. And they want to just let off steam by fighting and killing and do a bit of quests, you know what I mean? Like a bit of bounty hunting. They don't have to go to the extremes like he is. He's going deep, mate. You know what I mean? There's like levels. Like I say, it's a game. The more you go, the harder it gets. But sometimes, you know what I mean? You don't need to get that far. It's not real, if that makes sense. Like a video game, it, again, it's not real, but you know that the purpose of it is you start it, you got all your missions, and you finish it. You play all of it. Here, it's not about that. You don't. It's not really a game, is it? You don't start it, and there's no purpose to play it all to finish it. What it is is you go in, you just do whatever you want for as long as you want, have a good time, and leave. And that's where, like she's saying, maybe you're getting caught up and a bit too deep into it. Yes, Elsie, mate, buzzing. There hasn't been employee activity in that sector for weeks. I'm guessing it's a glitch. I'm heading out to take a look. Any sign of it? 
control room. You copy? Oh, mate, he's come out in a bad place. Hey, you fellas. Freeze all motor functions. Freeze all motor functions. Oh, it's gone from the side. Uh, see, why do these not have unlimited health? Do you know what I mean? These do. Well, to be honest, he's got a cut on his face now. I missed something. I forgot. They've been ambushed. Is it William? I'm on the chair. I don't know. You said this place was a game. Last night, I finally understood how to play it. I'm going to go find Dolores. <laughs> and don't call me Billy. I still reckon Logan could beat him up like he's just caught him in the spur of the moment. I don't understand. Why would she do that to herself? Her cornerstone memory was overwritten. We must sever that relationship and start over. It is best to not obsess over this banana. A level of empathic response outside what she's programmed to exhibit. Something like... like... <laughs> they... We're talking to the same imaginary person. What we do here is complicated. Myself, a team of engineers, and my partner. He's gone back to that town. I'm sure that's the one that Teddy went in. His name was Arnold. A host began to pass the Turing test after the first year. And he wanted the real thing. He wanted to create consciousness. You see how they've changed colors now? These are all the holes that have kind of been used mainly for stories. Wait, she's got into a lift and now she's in the the world where everybody else is. She's on that level where the human mind, Bernard, is not some golden benchmark. She was supposed to be better than that. And now she's back in the clothes. I feel like this is down there where they are, me, because it, this is like pre to where it looks like now. Arnold and I made you in our image. Why would you give me this? A child. Only a monster would force that onto someone. Makes him feel human. My cornerstone is. Arnold came to believe the tragic ones work best. When I built you, I give you one as an homage of a kind. Look, this is the chamber. Back to the beginning. Where she sits down and speaks to him. That's he sending him back. Ah, mate, it's quite hard, hard to follow, but good. Bernard? Why is Dolores down in that lab where you first introduced her? In? Stop. Leave us. Come back. I always thought you had my eye. You have no one's eyes. This pain, the pain of your loss. I long for it, but it's the only thing holding me back. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. At last. Final touch. He always used cleaning his glasses as a moment to collect himself. Yeah. <laughs> he also has a rat on the end of his nose as well. I was so involved in putting you together, I hadn't decided what to call you. He's Arnold, that man. That's why he's interviewing question. Dolores at the start. I can only offer a simple answer. You're going to do great things. After such a long absence, it's good to have you back. My God. Um. Arnold, you told me to follow the maze. But all I found was pain. There's nowhere that's safe. Remember. What's she remembering now? <laughs> You know what I mean? I can't help you. Why is that, Dolores? Because you're dead. Because I killed you. Dolores killed Arnold. Hey, do you reckon the man in black's gonna be here now? What? I don't know. Hello, Dolores. She remembers him. Set him free. What makes you think they trust you? If they remember, they will know what you've done to them. If you were to proclaim your humanity to the world what you imagine would reach you the real danger to the hosts is not me but you pull the trigger clementine oh pull the trigger now this is interesting piano doesn't murder the player if it doesn't like the music you built a back door under a code credit where credit is due bernard may you built them and all the hosts so why well i suppose i was hoping that given complete self-knowledge and free will you would have chosen to be my partner once again Took the pistol from her hand, overcome with grief and remorse. He pressed the muzzle to his temple. Robert. Never place your trust in us. Do himself. Mate, it's good. It is good. It's actually really good. <laughs> but like, 
It's also been pretty hard. I th oh, man. I feel like I I'm shocking anyway at following storylines. I just am. I I do you know what I mean? I call the spade a spade. I am. I get names wrong all the time. Even like nine episodes in, I call people wrong shit. I call it Clementine and Clementine and Clemente. Do you know what I mean? I just throw random stuff out there. Trying to get me to remember all oh, this is solid and, and then just throwing this in. It's very confusing. Is he Arnold? Is he not? Is he Bernard with Arnold's mind? Uh, oh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm going to try and process it. But what a good episode. It's very interesting. I liked it. Do you know what I mean? The storylines are good. Now, he was the first person. I think that was we was into, I think the start of the show, yeah, it was Dolores being spoken to by somebody, and it was actually Bernard. Um, I don't even know if we seen her or we heard, the, you know, they heard the voices when she was laying in her bed. Do you know what I mean? And she got up and she was like rinse and repeating, but it was him that was saying it. And I'm just trying to figure out like what the crack is. Do you know what I mean? Like, why is she destined to come here? Why is she able to eliminate everything around the, you know, like surroundings? So it's just her and like. Why has she just walked in and gone into this church that's not there in the present? I don't think. Do you know what I mean? This is what I'm trying to figure out, like, because last time we see, unless he's built it now as part of the story. Do you know what I mean? But, like, this church has obviously been there in the past. It's got to have, because, you know, she's been in there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, this church is in the past. She's gone in there. She's seen all those people. She's been down. She's spoken to Bernard. Um, And then... She's been down in the present as well. But when Ford's there, it's not been built yet. But the man in black's there now. And he figured that's the place where the city's under the sand after hearing that woman say it when she was around Teddy and she killed him. Do you know what I mean? And Teddy's storyline, you know, we told three different ones. We told it was Wyatt that killed everybody. Then we was told that he helped Wyatt kill everybody. And then we got the storyline that Wyatt didn't really do anything. And Teddy was the one that was going in dressed as a sheriff. And then Wyatt's kind of retaliating and killed him. Do you know what I mean? Like, what, what's going on there? Then you've got Billy. Oh, don't call me Billy. William. Uh, Willie William. Like, he's gone in and he's attacked and he's killed everybody. And he's determined to go after... <laughs> Dolores, and then he's a tat slogan, and again, mate, and, and Maeve, and you know, she's now teamed up with a guy with a scar in his face. She's opened the safe, it's empty. Do you know what I mean? She's told him about obviously scenarios about uh, how everybody was going to pull a gun on each other and all shoot them, and then that's played out. And then they've gone in, and then she's like, Look, mate, and, you know, I could take you to hell and we could beat everybody. You know, we could take the system down, and they've started like making out like sleeping with each other whilst burning themselves alive. Mad, mate, the episode's crazy. This. Uh, Honestly, so much goes on. It literally does. So much goes on. But following it as well, it's also easy sometimes and also really hard. And, like, I guess that's the beauty of it, to be honest. I've been saying it all season. I can't change it now. Do you know what I mean? Let's be a parrot. If it's getting the brain going, it's getting you thinking, it's getting you, you know, talking, and it's getting you guessing, then let's be honest, it's doing its job, isn't it? It's really, really good. So, mate. <sighs> can't wait for this finale now okay and that is gonna wrap up today's episode so mate are you guys following along because it's uh, crazy stuff is happening literally it's crazy so let's let's talk about even the people that are not even like the main people if that makes sense so you've got this guy is he called Stubbs? he's mooched out into the you know into the park because he's getting a ping obviously back in in the office that um elsie's tracker is now active now who's doing that and who's activated it who knows? But he's gone up there in search for her. I'm hoping Elsie's not dead. I kind of think that she probably is dead. It would make sense considering that we've just seen, you know, we've seen um, Teresa die. We've obviously seen Elsie looks like die. And then it looks like, you know, he's killed himself as well, um, Bernard. So it, she probably is dead. But in terms of, you know, what's going on, her beacon's pinged. He's gone up. He's gone to look for it. And, mate, he's encountered the, um, what, what are they called that? The Ghost Nation. And they've attacked him. And, like, he's tried to say, do you know what I mean? Motor function's off, motor function's off, and it didn't happen. He's pulled his weapon out. He wants to stop them. He's been attacked from the side. So, again, speaking about storylines that had nothing really to do with what the main, big, massive one that's going on, these people here, do you know what I mean, involved heavily. And, again, are these now creations of Arnold? I mean, uh, creations of Ford? Because, you know, if people are speaking to him and telling him to shut down and it's not happening, then it may only be somebody like him who's created them that can actually do that. Now, again, it's very interesting, the stuff that's been being told, because, you know, 
Speaking about trying to figure out what timeline we're in, yeah, I always say are we getting visions of the past, present, or the future, and then the future would be a bit harder to explain, and I feel like when we do get some of the scenes, I do feel like it might be a future glimpse, and then it gets a bit confusing, but Maeve definitely does have some sort of control or knowledge of the future, because when she was speaking to that guy, you know, she referenced that he's doing his same old rinse and repeat loop consistently. Do you know what I mean? I could take you out now, you could just wake up, you could do it again, you could go after, you could get the save, you can come here, same story. Or, you know, in the present, you can stay here, do you know what I mean? You can see all these stand off, I can give you the, the code to the safe and you can open it. And pretty much, you know what I'm saying, like, it happened, they all stood off, they all shot each other. She managed to give him the code, they opened it, there was nothing there. Now, I can't remember who it was that spoken to him early on in the season. I think it might have been the man in black as well. And I think he said to him, mate, what's in that safe? It's not what you desire. He actually said that to him. Now, again, like I said, interesting reference. She's mentioned the past, which means that, you know, he can pretty much rinse and repeat because she's seen it before, the present, which these two is going to do a standoff. And then, obviously, she was talking about the future. So, again very very good she obviously knows what's going on she's got really really smart now for after doing all this crazy stuff in the lab um and like i said she's really interested and it looks like them to have killed themselves kind of so that they can reappear back into the present which is going to be interesting but then obviously like i said if we're talking about dolores you know she was instead of in front of william and also um logan and he ended up grabbing her saying you know she's not real and she's he stabbed her and she's bleeding out and you can see that she's all robotic and she's running off do you know what i mean and then people are chasing her and then suddenly mate her mind she's just like sack that you know what i mean i'm okay and she was Body stitched up, no stab wound, nothing to do with any of them. She's walked, she's found this church, she's gone down. Mate, she was the person that killed Arnold. But Arnold was Bernard. <laughs> well, no, it was it Bernard. I'm, I'm getting confused. I don't know, man. Like, I feel like Arnold was Bernard, but Arnold wasn't Bernard because it, in in the flashback you know it was a different dude but basically she's killed arnold anyway a long story short she definitely killed arnold like regardless of which character it was she's done that now why has she done that i don't know and what is the man in black wanting to achieve why does he feel like arnold's left a deeper meaning into the game why like why, why does he think that from what we've just seen there i don't know what he's gonna find you know what i mean he's met her at the church she's been down there yes there's a little container thing that she's been sat down having conversations with uh but what's he gonna require from that maybe it's because he didn't know that you could get on the chair and kind of go down to the underground basement that's maybe what he's seeking do you know what i mean so that's really interesting and obviously we've got ford who's saying that basically you know bernard was a creation originally from arnold's cold but he was the one that kind of brought him to life and we revolutionized kind of like him as a character and put him on his side and he was explaining that like they all have back doors as well so this whole time he sat there when you know bernard's got this gun to him and he's trying to like manipulating and blackmail him and tell him to do all this stuff and give him his memories back he could have really just backdoored it and turned him off in the first place the same as when clementine was obviously pointing a gun at him and he told him to shoot and he was like well you know she can't do that because pretty much i've overridden it do you know what i mean so again madness what's going on there like I said, he's instructed him to kill himself, which he has done, which, again, really sad. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to go into next season with a new cast, you know what I mean? Is it, like, True Detective? Is that the show? Like, I think they started, like, season one with, like, Woody Harrelson, and then season two was, like, in Fawn or something. I don't know what happened, you know what I mean? Maybe it's the same aspect here, because, I mean, there's loads... Honestly, there's loads of stuff going on. There really, really is. I mean, to conclude it in the next episode... Especially with the, the story of this new narrative that's being obviously created. What's the English guy doing with that guy where, you know, Dolores' dad, where she's input all of these codes and he's got to smuggle him out of the park. That's got to go. you got the main storyline here with this dude. You know, they're coming back into, like, the present and they want to take them down. You know, you've got, well, Bernard, he's dead or not. Elsie, she's dead or not. Do you know what I mean? You've got... This guy as well, just being attacked by Ghost Nation. You've got the Teddy storyline going on. Do you know what I mean? He was actually, well... Him and the white one's crazy as well. I don't even know which one's actually the true thing that's going on there. You got the Dolores one, the man in black trying to find a maze. Bad mate, honestly. There's so much stuff going on. And like I said, it turns out the man in black is actually a board member and he's given the approval to knock Ford out of like his position now. So I can't wait for the final episode, honestly. If it's as hectic as this one, then I'm going to be well confused. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be proper confused. But that, that's where we currently are. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please smash the like, it really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.